All right, people, so today we have another gear video where I'm gonna tell you five of the best vlog cameras you can get on the $500. Let's get it. You've been trying to vlog, you're in the market looking for a vlogging camera, but you don't know what to get, and you have a tight budget. So this is the perfect video for you. I've done some vlogging before. Uh, vlogging wasn't really my thing. Well, the type of vlogging I was doing wasn't really my thing, but I used some of these cameras that I'm about to, to, to name. To be honest, I'm confident that whichever you, you pick, depending on the use you're gonna be doing, will be great for you for vlogging. First one, and it's actually one of my favorite one, is the Sony A5100. The Sony A5100 is a great vlogging camera because it has a tilt screen. Having a tilt screen is amazing when you want to do shots, to make sure you're in focus, but also to make sure that your framing is nice, that you have a good framing, you know? Sometimes, because you don't have a tilt screen, what people will do is put a monitor, like I'm doing right now for my video, to see themselves talking. Another thing is that Sony is known for great autofocus, and this camera does the same thing. It has amazing autofocus. To be honest, even if you didn't have the tilt screen, you'd be in focus, and you would know it for sure because of its great autofocus. And what I love with this camera is the ability to swap lenses okay this camera has an APS-C sensor amazing sensor by the way it is also a camera that allows you to remove the lens and put other lenses and you can use a lot of Sony Sony's e-mount lenses to put on that camera so if the lenses you get the kit lens is not something that fits you that you don't like you want something different you can always purchase a different lens and put it on that if you want a lens that has more bokeh more depth of field you will be able to do that so that is amazing and I think I think this is one of the reasons why it's, the, it's one of the best camera. It also shoots at 1080p 60 frame so you can get that crazy nice looking slow-mo at 1080p. One of the downsizes of that camera would be the fact that it doesn't have any 3.5 millimeter jack input. So what is a 3.5 millimeter jack input is what is the, the port to put a microphone. So you wouldn't be able to put an external, an external microphone, which means you would have to rely on the audio from the camera. The audio is okay, but uh, if, you want to, if you really want that crisp audio like you're listening right now, you would want an external microphone, and this camera doesn't allow you to have an external microphone. There are some alternatives out there, but they are pretty expensive. So consider that when you're buying a camera. As for the price for this camera, it is priced currently in the US on Amazon. You can find it for around $499. The next camera I want to present to you is the Sony RX100 Mark I, the first one. You can find this camera dead cheap for like $380 on Amazon or b and Photography. Uh, this camera is great because it has a one uh, f1.8 aperture which means you're gonna have a lot of bokeh of that lovely blur that you get in the background and you're taking your shots uh, the camera is green and low light so you're gonna be um, you're gonna have no problem with that and it's a great focusing camera it focuses really well and you have no problem when it comes to focusing another thing is that like the Sony a5100 you also get uh, 1080p slow-mo at 60 frames per second so you can get some good slow-mo and HD. Unfortunately, on the other end, it doesn't have a flip screen like the 5100 does. And uh, that can be a bummer for some people. But with the amazing autofocus it does, you shouldn't be too worried about the flip screen. And again, like that Sony camera, it also doesn't have a microphone jack, which can be an issue if you have bad audio or if there's wind and you really want to have that crisp audio coming from your vlogs. So that is one thing that you have to think. But besides that, it overall makes it a great camera under even under $400. So a great camera for that price. The next camera that I want to talk about is the Canon G9X Mark II. The G9X is the most expensive camera in this package and at priced at $499, but it is a great camera. It has a nice lens that started with the aperture of two f2 all the way to f4 when you zoom between 24 to 80 it also has again 1080p at 60 frames per second and has a nice sensor with great image quality one of the downfalls of this camera is that it does not have a tilt screen like the uh, sony 5100 has and again it also doesn't have a uh, microphone jack. I don't know what's wrong with these cameras that don't have microphone jacks, but this one doesn't have a microphone jack. But the audio is actually pretty good from this camera. So you'll be able to take some pretty decent audio when it comes to that camera. Again, if you're shooting in the wind and there's a lot of wind, you will, be, you will get crucified. But 
that's how it is. Another thing to take in mind with this camera is that the lens is not interchangeable. You cannot switch out the lens. The lens you get is the lens you have. So if you don't like the feel of this lens, you can't really do anything about it uh, besides not shooting with it, I guess. <laughs> One last thing is that the autofocus for this camera is not the best when it comes to uh, low light. So if you're in low light situation, the autofocus might have some issues, yeah, you know, because again, also of the aperture. So uh, take that in mind when it comes to shooting with this camera, when it comes to autofocus. Another thing is also uh, that I forgot to mention the great thing about this camera is that it has in-camera image stabilization. So you won't have too much problem when it comes to your shots being shaky because of the in-camera image stabilization that the camera possesses. The next camera I want to talk about is the Sony DSCH-X80. Hopefully I got that right. Uh, it is the cheapest camera in this lot. It is really, really cheap. It does 1080p at 60 frames per second slow-mo again. It is really small and compact, so you can put it in your pocket. You have no problem with that. And it also has image stabilization. Now on the downsize, it has the smallest sensor out of the slot and the image quality might not be as good as the other ones, although it will still be good enough for some good vlogging. But again, it is the cheapest camera, so you probably would expect that from it. Um, Another thing, like all the cameras I've mentioned so far, it does not have a microphone jack to, to put a microphone. So again, you're relying on the audio from the camera and uh, if it's good, it's good. If it's not good, it's not good. Another thing with this camera that it doesn't have a flip screen. The autofocus is all right. So because of that, maybe the flip screen is not something you want, but it's, al it's always something you, you wouldn't mind having, you know? Maybe you might not need it, but it's something you would always want to have. Now, finally, the last camera I want to talk about is the Olympus EM10 Mark II. This camera is the only one from this lot of cameras that shoots 4K. If you're someone that's really interested into 4K and I love 4K and needs 4K, well, it shoots 4K. Uh, it also has five axes image stabilization, that means you're gonna get really great image stabilization straight from the camera. It also has great imagery and is pretty good in low light. A problem with the camera again, like the other camera is that it has no microphone jack. Also the screen doesn't tilt and surprisingly, it does not shoot uh, and 1080p at 60 frames per second like the other cameras do. So I don't know why Olympus decided to do that, but it doesn't shoot slow-mo at 1080p like the other cameras do. But you do get the 4K and the great image stabilization with this camera. So that's pretty much it, guys. This are the five great, amazing cameras you can get under $500 for vlogging. Which one do you think will suit you the best? Which one do you think is the best out of them? Tell me which one you like. If you already have a vlogging camera, tell me which one you have and why you love it. And let me know if you like this video. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to see more content from me. And uh, till next time, goodbye.